Hi guys, you ready? Hi, Krista. Hi, Krista. We are ready, right? Yes. Hi, my name is Krista, and I have passion for local food. And today I'm going to make an amazing dish with two food lovers. Hi, my name is Eric. And my name is Elise. I'm sending him out on a mission to gather ingredients and show you how easy it is to find local food here in the Alta region. So it's up to you to pick up the ingredients. Good luck. Thank you. We'll do a good job, we promise. See you soon. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 We are on the mission from the chef. We were really hoping that you might be able to help us out a little bit. Yes, of course. That's really good news. <laughs> when you go in the shop, mm -hmm. you don't know what you get. But yeah. here, you know, you know exactly, exactly, exactly yeah. what yeah. you get. <laughs> but we could also go and say hi to the calf. Yes, of yeah. course you can. <laughs> when I grow up in this area, every farmer had cows or sheep to prepare the landscape. But during the time, it disappeared and the trees and uh, all over. I think now more and more farmers uh, see that it is important to keep uh, cattle. Their calf drink only milk from mother all the time when they are growing up. Oh, that's nice. When they are six, seven months, they are separate from mother. So if you don't feed them with anything else, it must be really pure. Yes, of course. It yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> Here. I feel also, like we could do this. Do you think we could take this uh, strip loin back? Yes, I think so. Yeah. 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 Maybe you like to have an entrecote. I'd love yeah. to eat an entrecote. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Have a okay. good rest of your day. Hi, Krister. Hey, Krister. So check out what we've got. Wow, good choice indeed. This will do. Next, I need to find something that we can supplement our meat with. You are going into the woods. We'll try. Or get lost. Hi! Hi! Good Hello. to see you. This is for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mushroom man. basket. <laughs> All right. So we can go out and find something right here? Yes. You can find blueberry and uh, different types of uh, mushrooms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Special cantrells. Yeah. And we can just pick them ourselves? Yes. Yeah. Doesn't somebody own this? Do we have yeah. to ask for permission or something? No, we have a concept called Almondsretten. Everyone can use all this place. We can take mushroom without ask somebody. What? Oh, that's amazing. amazing. Yeah. Cool. Follow me and we can go deep into the forest. Okay. All right. Look. Oh. Go. <laughs> look at that. Wait a second. So this. This is what we're looking for. Wait, wait, wait. Look, look, look. This is Cantrell. So this is our Norwegian gold, huh? Yes. Do they like to grow together like this? Yes, it's normal. Okay. So you can come out here and you can pick mushrooms or, or yeah. berries. Yeah. We live close to the nature, so we can bring the food from the nature home. You like it? That's very good. It was so nice to be in the forest with you. Thank you. We loved coming out here. And thank you so much for bringing us out and finding all this yellow Norwegian gold. <laughs> Bye. See we'll you see you again. See you again. Bye. Bye. Hi, Krister. Hi. Check out what we have found. What Look do you think? This. Good choice. Now, in the Oslo region, there's lots and lots of local breweries. And now I'm sending off to one of them. Bring me something that you feel like will go well with the other ingredients you've chosen. Good luck. All right, well, we're off then. We'll see you shortly. Hi, Inge Maria. Hi. Hi, Lars. So we're on a mission from the chef, Christer. We have found a beautiful strip loin steak and some wonderful local mushrooms, but... We need some beer. If you have some five beers now, that is kind of us. Mm. And they are very suitable either before, with dinner, or after dinner. Cool. <laughs> good, good. There was nothing here when you guys came, right? No. We moved uh, down here 10 years ago. We have this local focus, organic, high quality ingredients. We have put a lot of effort into development and the experimental part, both uh, the beers 
and the wine. And we are also producing sparkling. So we are, in a way, you can say, a bubble enthusiasts. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of fruit do you get locally? It's apples, it's uh, elderflower, we have uh, rhubarb and uh, we have rose chips and then also source from other local producers close to us in the region. So it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. In the Oslo region it has a lot of good producers, yeah. mm -hmm. obviously. Cheers. <laughs> but we have chosen our style. So we think small is beautiful. Oh, it's delicious. And we will continue with our position in a way in that marketplace. I think Krista's going to like this one. I already love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you bye. so much. Now I'm really excited to see what Eric and Elisa has picked from the local ingredients around Oslo region. Hi, Krista. Hello. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at these. Yeah, we got some mushrooms for you. It's actually really beautiful, right? Wow. Well, we got even more stuff for you. Oh, Check shit. That out. Look at that. What do you think? It's going to be great. Yeah, for sure. It's so good to see because you can find all these three things in like probably 500 meters radius. Mm. Maybe even on the same farm. Yeah. So we're going to make today, we're going to make a pan fried uh, strip loin with some cream sauce with the beer and some cream. And we're going to have some pan fried chanterelles. And that's it. Simplicity is always the best when you cook. If you call it. We have brought you this meat from a wonderful little farm. It was really fantastic to go there, see how they took care of their animals and the whole process they have going. So this is really, really nice because you get like the best of the wheel and the best from the cow is like straight in the middle. So this is really, really nice. You're going to enjoy this for sure. Chanterelles. Yeah. Love it. Chanterelles is one of my favorite because now we're in a season and in autumn it's, it's like it's heaven on earth because it's, it's so beautiful. They can use it for so many things. So these we're gonna have fun with. So here we are, the strip loin cream chanterelles with the local beer. Take a bite, I got some cutlery for you. Yeah, I'm, it smells amazing. My mouth is literally watering right now. Mm. Oh, this is amazing. That's incredible. Yeah. Incredibly fresh, earthy. Cheers. 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 Wow. Of course, if you don't want to drink alcohol, you also have the, the alcohol-free uh, types. For me, again, this is always, always about making things like as simple as possible. Still, it's, it's a good, good meal. Mm. It's just really, really plain, simple, and it's beautiful flavors. It's fascinating watching you make this because I think about how um, how much time I might usually try to use on something like this. But when I see how easy it is to just take local ingredients to make such a simple, quick dish that tastes so elegant, that's really fascinating. I'm so proud to be making this dinner with local products that have been created based on an ethical fundament. Locally produced food is easy. Easy is fun for everyone. Welcome to the Oslo region. Yeah.